Welcome to the weekly Ransomware Roundup, your weekly summary about all things ransomware, data protection, data security, backup and DR, storage, and cloud. As always, the links for these news stories can be found in the description below. Without further ado, this is the Roundup for the second week of June, 2022. The city of Palermo in Italy was attacked by the Vice Society Ransomware Group, causing a large-scale service outage. The cyber attack rendered internet-relying services unavailable, impacting 1.3 million people and many tourists visiting the city. Vice Society has claimed responsibility and posted an entry on their dark web data leak site, threatening to publish all stolen documents if a ransom is not paid. The Iranian Lyceum Apt Hacking Group, also known as Hexane or Spillrin, is using a new .NET-based DNS backdoor hijacking to conduct attacks on companies in the energy and telecommunications sectors. DNS hijacking is a redirection attack that relies on DNS query manipulation to take a user who attempts to visit a legitimate site onto a malicious clone hosted on a server under the threat actor's control. Cybersecurity researchers have reported increased activity of the Hello XD ransomware, whose operators are now deploying an upgraded sample featuring stronger encryption. The malware's author has created a new encryptor that features custom packing for detection avoidance and encryption algorithm changes. When executed, Hello XD attempts to disable shadow copies to prevent system recovery and then encrypts files, adding the .hello extension to file names. With cybercriminals continuously coming up with new ways to target your NAS, making sure that your file storage and sharing environment is safe is an ever-growing challenge for SMBs, SMEs, and large enterprises alike. We've put together a guide to help you navigate the latest NAS security challenges and secure your NAS from these threats. Link in the description. Ransomware gangs are now targeting a recently patched remote code execution vulnerability affecting Atlassian Confluence server and data center instances. By performing mass scans on various networks, Avislocker threat actors search for vulnerable machines and deploy the ransomware. If successfully exploited, the OGNL injection vulnerability enables unauthenticated attackers to take over unpatched servers remotely by creating new admin accounts and executing arbitrary code. A critical Windows zero-day vulnerability known as Felina is being exploited in ongoing phishing attacks to infect recipients with QBot malware. The TA570 QBot affiliate uses malicious Microsoft Office DocX documents to infect recipients with QBot. The attackers use hijacked email thread messages with HTML attachments, which download zip archives containing image files. Inside the image, the targets will find DLL, Word, and shortcut files. These files reach out to an external server to load an HTML file that exploits the Felina flaw to run PowerShell code, which downloads and executes a different QBot DLL payload. Lastly, the promo of the week. Get a 70 terabyte expandable up to 4 petabyte air-gapped and immutable Veeam, Rubrik, Comvault, Site Recovery, Backup and DR appliance with object lockdown technology for ransomware protection for $7,995. For demos and details, visit Stonefly's website. That's it for this weekly roundup. Stay safe. See you next week.